Hey guys. Hi Doris. Hi Brian. Hi Shelly. Hi Mona. Of course you guys are here early because I sent you a link. <laughs> I'm here. Sheesh Brian. Bushy, isn't he? So we'll give everybody a few minutes to get in here. So tonight we're gonna do the box tonight. Hi, Kathy. I can show you some of the new TLP colors too. Mona, you have a premiere tonight, correct? I think I saw it in the list. Okay, cool. So before we do that, I'll show you the new TLP colors. So this one is Show Pony. And that's it mixed. That's the color that I had to work with along with Zeus. Kind of cool color. It's very bronzy. And then we have Afterglow, which is like a really orangey pink, but it does have shimmer. Has a gold shimmer. Hi, Moose. Hi, Patricia. Thanks for coming. And then Echeveria is a green. And this is what it looks like mixed. I just mixed them. And then we have. Hammerhead, which is so much like Silver Lake. It's so close. It's a gorgeous color. We're going to use that one tonight. And then we have Brulee. This is a caramel interference. It's gorgeous. On black, it's gorgeous. And then there's White Haven. This is a white gold. Super pretty. And then we have the much awaited color. Because it was supposed to release last time, but it didn't go through. Agapanthus. It's a beautiful silvery purple color and that's it mixed there we're probably going to use this one tonight too maybe a little bit all right so those are the new eight colors coming out on june 25th hi angie hi joy hi denise if i missed anybody while i was yapping hi beth Hello, Purple Witch, and Deirdre, and Darnell, and Donna, and Kathy, and Sherry. Oh my goodness, you missed a lot. Hi, Christina, and hi, Deborah. All right, last week's paintings. This was our swipe. Came out super pretty. Definitely going to need resin on this one to get the interferences to pop. And this was our bloom. That Nicolazo gold is so pretty in there. So 
So those were the two we did last week. So tonight, it's time to do a box. So I have my handy dandy little screwdriver and I'm going to take all of the hardware off while we're chatting. So I get these boxes at Hobby Lobby. If you put some effort into it and finish it professionally, <laughs> they're absolutely gorgeous. And when I say professionally, it's resin, staining. Um, I started lining mine now. <laughs> I'm just not talking to you, Brian. So get all your hardware off. Then we're going to put it in a baggie. So if you're doing more than one, you definitely want to number your baggies and number your boxes. So you know which hardware goes with which because they're not all drilled the same. bring these boxes to the retreat next year so everybody can do one but you'll have to prep it yourself <laughs> I already have them packed actually they're already purchased and packed all right so make sure you scoop those up and get them in a baggie before you lose them because those little screws, when you drop them, it's hard to find them. Alright, and if you're going to do more than one, I suggest that you write, like, number one on this baggie. We can put this aside because we're not going to use that tonight. So I'll just stick that baggie in there. But I'll also put a piece of tape in there with a number one on it. No, you don't have to redo the holes. You'll be using the same holes. I have, at Brian, I bought, I think, 12 little screwdrivers and they're already packed. Silly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I bought 12. So I like to tape the inside with any kind of tape. It doesn't have to be anything super special. It's just to keep your dirty hands off of it. Because you're not going to sand this part, so you don't even have to worry about it. And we're not going to sand the sides today either, because this gets done after the resin. So, after you get that done, get your number one on there. I actually put it in three places, because sometimes I can't find it. I am prepared next time, Shelly. I really am. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and sand this top. Because I want to get this lip. There's a little groove here. And then there's a little lip here. And this box is really dirty. That's why I'm doing this one. Because I don't want to take a dirty box. So I just give that just a light sand. Just to knock down anything that's rough. 
and I'll get in that groove and bend my sandpaper and get anything rough off of there. So you should be able to feel it nice and smooth. It's not like you got to sand a ton. And I do the same thing with that lip with the edge of my sandpaper. So everything should be smooth. It's not a lot of prep work. It's a lot of finish work. See, this side was a little rough, so I'm getting every little bit of that. Now, the house paint will cover this part, but you definitely don't want anything lifting, so you want to make sure you get it flat as possible. So, we have the screw marks here. We'll take those down. Get your groove. Get your groove on. Get that little lip. Take that edge. And then the last side. You can see there's a lot of wood grain on this one here. So our paint will cover that, but we want to try to get it as smooth as possible. Because we're taping below that. I'm using 220 grit. I pretty much do shell. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to sand the top, getting my edges first, and then we're going to do this, the nice long stroke. Take time to feel it. If you feel anything rough, go back and get it, and I can already see I got a little bit here. Tap it off, should all come off pretty good. And we're ready to tape it. Okay, so I like to do this edge first with the really good tape. This is for rough surfaces. I've had really good luck with this tape for boxes. So I'm going to bring a camera down so you can see where I'm going with this. Okay, there's a little edge there. Get your corner first. And get your other corner. And you definitely want to use your fingernail or a hard surface to close that off. You don't want any paint getting up underneath there. It's not a big deal if it does. You can sand it off. But why... Just take the time to prep it. It won't have as many problems. If you get a little crease, that's fine. That's just the way the tape stretches. All right, let's get our other side. Oops, let me get this one. See, I want it right on that edge. And that will crease a little. So I like to like fold it in and bring it over that edge. Um, I get this tape from Lowe's, Chris. It's the only place I've been able to find it where I can get a six pack. But I'm sure sure when Williams carries it. Any paint store should have it. But make sure it's for rough surfaces because you want that to stick really well. Alright, let's get this side finished. And we'll grab this one. 
instead of fighting with that tape, I don't need that much. I can just cut that off because getting it unstuck is not fun. Okay. Easy peasy. Right? Fold them in and fold this over. Now it's up to you if you want to put tape here. I always do because that's where I grab my boxes when I'm this way. So I'm going to put some tape there. doesn't have to be perfect because we're already covered. We just want to cover that little bit. When you're doing resin, you'd be shocked to see where you get resin. <laughs> All the places you don't want it to be. So if you're not resining these, just put, taping them off just simply like this is fine. And then you can um, varnish them, spray varnish. And it works fine. I just like the look of the resin. Okay. Good enough. So that's it. She's all nice and smooth. She's ready to be painted. <coughs> so let's do that. And if I'm coughing, it's because I was mixing micas and I didn't put my mask on. And I can feel it in my throat. <clears> throat> okay, let me move that. Let's get our spinner up here. And I'll bring you guys back up a little bit. Let me just check the chat real quick. Okay, I think I'm going to grab one of the little round ones too. I just have to think where I put them. Because <laughs> they're everywhere. Walking around with one shoe on because Finn stole my sandal. <laughs> Just kick the other one off. Okay. These are a little more work, so let's do one of these because I think you should probably watch this too. I'll get you down here. There's a couple of different ways you can do these. These are not flawless boxes by any means. Um, you can put the tape halfway down this edge. So when you paint this silver or gold, you'll see that lip like I do. Or you can just tape underneath here. So let me sand this and see if I can kind of fix that a little bit. When you order boxes, you don't get, like when you go pick them out, you can pick out the best ones. When you order them, they're not like that. You get what you get. So I'm going to sand this one. Thank you, Brian. You're awesome. I appreciate you very much. So I work on that part first. And then I come in and get this edge here. I'm 
The only reason I grabbed another box was because I really meant to show you guys how to do these round ones a while ago. And I still haven't done it, so. Now it's up. So I'm just rounding off that lip a little bit. So it's not sharp. A sharp edge makes it easier to paint, too. These boxes are not on sale this week, but check on Sunday. They should be up on Sunday. All right, so before I do this, I want to do this. Get as flat as I can get it. So when I do my tape, I'll show you how I do my tape. So I didn't. We're still gonna work on that spot. I'm glad I got one with a little flaw in it, so you can see how I do that. All right. So before we get to the top, I want to get this here. This is why when I do boxes, I do six or seven at a time because if I'm going to sit and prep one, I'm going to do more than one. You can do it while you're watching TV or sitting outside. It's beautiful out. Take them outside. So you can see I'm working on that spot. That looks pretty good got it sanded down there so you don't really notice it quite as much. Just a tiny little bit. I think we're good. Alright, let me get the top. I try to grab this if I can so I can really just go to town. all the top done. My fingernails aren't long enough. <laughs> I cut them. Okay. So some of the boxes when you buy them they'll have a little divot in them. You can sand that out. This is very soft wood. I'm thinking it's fine because it sands so well. And don't worry about dirt. It's not going to show up. Look at that edge. I'm just taking that rough part off. Okay. Okay, these I take different. These all get the sticky tape. But you can do the same thing. Number your box. The only reason I'm doing that is because I'm probably going to do a bunch more later. <laughs> okay. This one I do different, though. This one I tape this part first. Take it right up to the lip of that edge. Tack it down. If you're over here, try to cut that off because it's going to interfere with your edging. Second piece, stick it down on there. This base right here is what's going to touch your turntable or your work area, so you know you're going to get paint on it. So get it taped off. Okay, so 
now I'm going to go here. I don't cut a very big piece. I don't go any longer than that because this takes a lot of patience. <laughs> um, if you don't want to do that edge, just tape here. You'll have to cut your tape at the edge. But I like to try to go halfway. This is sometimes this is not fun. And you've got to make sure that you push that tape down as you go because the minute you turn, it may fall off. I know this is probably uh, like, ooh, I don't want to do that. Do one. Just try it. You'll love it. When that resin comes over that lip and you have that to go up against with your paintbrush, it's amazing. It's, it's very easy. All right, once you get that on there, push it in just like this and stick it down. If you've been making these boxes and you tape a different way, that's fine too. I just show you the way that I do it. Okay, now that I know I'm on a roll, I can go. This is when I say I need stronger bifocals. <laughs> to see that lip. You can see how very little I'm taping off. So you want to be super careful with your tape, rubbing it down. Because the minute you don't rub one, it's going to slide on you. And it's not fun to get it back up on there. You'll have to get a fresh piece of tape. Okay, let me cut that off. need it. Make sure your butt up against the other one like that. Okay, fold it in and you're good to go. I still do one more round just, just for insurance. Okay, same thing. Number one, but put a piece of tape over it because you'll lose that number one when it gets dirty. Okay, let's paint. Any questions on taping, sanding, boxes, anything? <laughs> Forget it, Susan. Not happening. <laughs> At the retreat, if you guys need help, I will help you. So I just picked this up because I was at a different distance and I can see where I went over that edge a little bit. So I'm going to pop that off real quick. Don't be afraid to retape. And I'm just taking just that section off and putting tape over it. Don't take the whole thing off, you don't need to. <clears throat> I had a blubber. Nobody's perfect. That was the way my tape stretched, I think. I don't take any of my tape off until after I'm done resining, so I don't have to worry about anything overlapping or any of that fun stuff. All right, let's do the long one first. starting to smell the same. 
Okay, that's how it's been. <laughs> I was questioning myself there. Gloves. All right, for this box. Mm. I really want to use that hammerhead with my denim blue with the Zeus. So let's grab the hammerhead, the denim blue. Let's use the brulee. I want to use some of these new colors, see how they play. And let's put a... Hmm, let's grab nebula because it's super dark blue. I want this in blues. I don't think I've done a blue box yet. I've done purple. I've done every, but every other color. Okay, this is nebula from this little piggy. It's, it's kind of almost on the line of our moody blue. It's very close. And that's the hammerhead. These are running a little bit thin. But I'm not going to use a lot so it doesn't really matter. Okay. And this is the denim blue from Prash Posse. And then this will be the brulee. So for the show pony and actually I'll save the Zeus for the other one. The show pony and the Zeus is, are two of the colors that I'm featuring in my collab on Sunday. So you'll get to see those in action. And don't forget, tomorrow my auction starts on uh, Facebook. Shelly, do you have a link for that, honey? I think I'm going to tack this down. I don't trust it. Yeah. Alright, guys. Where did I put my tacky syrup? It's not like I don't have three packages of it. Oh, there it is. Missing anything. Uh, my auction starts at noon for my 13 boxes that are going up. They're gorgeous. They're all lined. I went a little above and beyond for that auction, but I think that's the new way that I'm going to be doing them all. The stains are amazing. All right, we're good. I'll bring it up a little bit more, aren't I? There you go. Okay, let's get some color down. I'm gonna use a black cell activator because I just think it makes them so bold and beautiful. So when I put my little bit of paint on like this, I like to bring it out to the edges and I like to cover those that groove that we were sanding get that painted first because nothing's worse than when you go to try to touch it up and you know how fast house paint dries when you're working with it yeah it's not fun to try to fix it so much going on this weekend oh my goodness <laughs> I 
I'm a little stressed, guys, just a little. I still haven't had time to mix paint. I got all my orders unpacked yesterday, and UPS came again today, so it's I'm I'm fighting a losing battle. But I think I'll be uh done ordering now for a while. <laughs> I always say that. Then I find something else to get. Hey, Chuck. Okay, let's just drizzle a little bit in the middle again. Paying attention to my edges because that's where the paint flies off. Get our trusty little baby blower out here. Finn hasn't stole my cord. Okay, let's put down Nebula first. We're gonna do one at a time so we can control. Well, I could have used a little more paint than that. Then I'm going to go with the hammerhead. It is so much like Silver Lake. It just freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> we'll go with our denim blue. Because I love this color. I definitely love blues. And then the creme brulee. cell activator. Remember this is a tiny flower. Don't overload. Oh, come on, Finn. My goodness. Oh, you can see that brulee already. Brulee is gorgeous. I'm going to have to play with that with black. Let me puff a little. Okay, we can leave that alone. Let it do its thing because we've got two more flowers to do yet. Alright. Let's go on this end. After we get this, these two flowers done, we'll do a little modifying and play with it a little bit. Why am I being so sparse with the nebula? Denim blue and creme brulee. It's just brulee, but I call it creme brulee. A little bit of cell activator. It's already coming. Okay, let me get my middle one. I'll 
get it all connected. Now when I blow this, I want to try to get them as close as I can to touching. So I'm going to go this way first. all by itself. I am going to blow that center. Alright, so while I'm modifying that should come up. pull that there but I'm going to just to see a swoop it's probably going to go off the canvas or off the box anyway when I spin Giving it some shape. Ah. So you want to be super careful because house paint likes to stretch. So when you pull up your stick, let it finish before you pull because you'll leave a strand behind. Okay. So I am going to bring this one out. This one in. This one out. This one this way. Doesn't matter here because they're going to go off. Uh, Donna, it is close to Champagne Shimmer. It has a little more brown to it. Let me spin this out so it opens up and I can show you a little bit better. I need my cardboard. Not too worried about those, but I probably should be. Okay, let's see. Just opening them up first. Mm. Needs a little more swoop in this one. Love the way this one is coming over the edge. That one went way off. I'm going to push it this way a little bit. I 
and give it one more spin. Well, that was kind of lame. That's better. Still not happy with that swoop. Like it, erase it. <laughs> you just have to wait for it to quit dripping. All right, that looks good. That looks good. See how it's pulling that brownish, caramely color. what makes it so unique. It's definitely one I would buy to add to your collection. But like the hammerhead is so it's so close to Silver Lake you could probably just get away with that. Um I love the nebula if you don't have it definitely get that one. I'm going to leave that right there. It's still not liking its whoop. <laughs> I need to branch it out or something. Because it just looks like a blob to me. You don't, you don't see it like I see it. Alright, that's better. That's a little better. I can live with that. All right, I'm just gonna give it a quick torch. Check for any big bubbles that I can pop. When you're popping bubbles with the blooms, make sure you cover your, your uh, bubble hole with the paint. Because otherwise the white will come up through. Once I get it popped, I pull the paint over it. All right, that one looks good. I'm gonna send that one to the drying rack. See where I'm grabbing my box? From the sides. So I will leave that drying flat on my rack just the way it is until it's finished drying. Do not put your boxes on cups because they will warp. Dry them flat. I'm being messy tonight. I'm allowed. Okay, let's play with the little round one. Should stick fine because of the uh, paint that's already on there. I'm gonna put these up. I wanna play with that Agapanthus and the Zeus. Wounds are too far away to go grab four more, so I'm wiping these off. <laughs> Instead of throwing them in my bucket. I call it the bucket of doom. <laughs> Mona premieres in ten minutes. I can do this in less than ten minutes. Down. 
on the round boxes. Same thing. Gonna cover those edges. There's nothing worse than checking your bloom the next day and it's dry and the edges have spots that are missing. So I always do that now. Okay. So we're going to use Agapanthus and we're going to use Whitehaven and Zeus. And I'm going to put a little I think it's called Syrah. Because it has a uh, purpley base to it. Alright, we're going to put this color down first, too. this under the black cell activator so just a little bit of Zeus because this will take over it reminds me of harvest gold how it just it's there okay agapanthus okay some black cell activator On these boxes, you don't have to do a perfect circle for blooming because it doesn't stay centered anyways when you spin it. So you can throw your colors every which way. I'm just going to open this up a little bit before I blow. I felt like I was in speed round. Spin it out. It's going to open up as I spin, so. It'll look nothing like this later. Wow, that Zeus with the Agapanthus is pretty. I'm going to play with it a little bit more in the middle. I have six minutes. <laughs> I'm surprised I got as much White Haven as I got. We buried it. All right, one more spin. I'll go that way just a smidgey. I don't want to move it, move it though. It's going to misbehave. there but it is opening up in the middle so you'll have to wait till next week to see it dry sorry yay 
All right, so here's what's going on. <clears throat> Tomorrow, 12 o'clock, Facebook, 12 o'clock Eastern, is my auction for the Healing Arts Healing Hearts auction. Uh, if you need a link to that group, Shelly's been posting it tonight. Or you can come into the Praj Posse group and the link is there in the pinned announcements. Uh, on Saturday, we have Moose at 6 Eastern. Doris at 7 Eastern. And this week we have Brian at 8 Eastern on Sunday. But... I have a premiere for the TLP pigments that is at 6 p.m. on my channel and there is a train I'm the end of the train so we're not interfering with anybody's lives so that's good see how it's opening yay so but right now we're all gonna head to Mona's she's doing her premiere and we're gonna go show her some love and support and I'll see you back here next week on Monday. Unless I chat with you Saturday or Sunday. Gosh, my goodness. Or see you on Facebook. And uh, have yourselves a awesome weekend. And be ready for next week because next week's tutorial, we're doing something totally different. I'm not even going to tell you what we're doing. So it's a surprise. But it's the wrap-up weekend, wrap-up week of our blooming, so I want to do something really cool. So we will see you then. But bye for now, and have a great evening, guys. Love you all.